So, Miss Scog, thank you very much for taking a moment to uh, to speak to us. I'd like to ask you what uh, what your department and, and what Sweden is, is currently doing in terms of uh, tackling climate change. And maybe if you could also uh, comment on what you mentioned at the side event just a minute ago about there being no contradiction between uh, welfare and climate, please. Yes, thank you. From the Swedish government side, we have decided that we are to be one of the first fossil-free welfare states in the world. And in saying that, that we believe that there is no contradiction between welfare and a strong climate agenda. Wisely done, it can be fostering each other. Uh, if we focus on green technology uh, and investing in bioeconomy and in the circular economy, there are so really a strong economy lying within there with lots of jobs uh, and a strong base for uh, welfare society. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, in terms of um, sort of targets Sweden's set itself, could you just sort of briefly take us through those? Yes, we have our current target is uh, by 2020 reduce our emissions of carbon dioxide by 40%. Uh, and we will meet that. Uh, it's not even hard. Uh, but we have from a parliamentary committee uh, suggesting uh, that by 2045 we should head on no emissions. Uh, and that is a much stronger uh, target, of course. Uh, and it will require cooperation from many sides uh, of the uh, society. Uh, and it's also important to reach that, that we take an integrated approach uh, and not looking only on carbon issues, but in integrated with uh, issues like in health, um, natural resources, uh, and not at least urban development, because we are convinced that many of the solutions lie uh, at the city, city level. Perfect. Thank you very much for taking a moment to speak to us. Thank you.